I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Roman Real Style. Today, I'm going to be talking about why women are jealous of men's clothing options. Okay. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. By doing that, these videos will come right to you. In addition, if you like this video, I would appreciate it if you would like it down below. And finally, I'm going to link you to another, uh, what, what am I going to link it to? Yeah, that's right. Another article on uh, more information about this. Actually, I'm going to link it to my 47-page ebook because I'm not going to write an article about this one in particular. And actually, what I'm doing here is I'm answering a question. It came in, I'm a 23-year-old slim-built female. I don't actually get too many uh, women writing me, so this is kind of cool. I really admire the male sartorial aesthetic. I don't like frilly, pretty fashions. I like the sharp, tailored look, but don't know how to adapt the style I like so much on a man for myself. I was particularly piqued by the title of your latest YouTube video, Why Dressing Sharp is Simple for Men. It was, it was a good video, and I really explained, I think, uh, you know, why it is simple for us. And so she often finds herself admiring men's clothing and going so far as to even try them on, but it doesn't work for her. So basically, the question is, what can she do? She loves men's wear, but she doesn't want to look butch. She's a young, petite female, and she's just wondering, why is she jealous? Well, <laughs> I'm just going to say it. She's jealous of men's clothing. And nothing wrong with that, because as guys, we don't even know how good we have it. And let me explain. Men's clothing is all about quality, simplicity, and fit. Now, I'm talking higher-end men's clothing. I'm not talking about most of the stuff that guys are out there wearing. But when it, the stuff that she's looking at, it's different because in, men, in women's clothing, oftentimes, they're much more prone to fashion. And so, there are things that a woman's going to buy and she's going to wear it for one season and she's never going to wear it again. And the manufacturers know this and they've got to produce this clothing at a price which she will buy it and not feel too bad about discarding it. And so what happens is a lot of the clothing that is made, in fact, most of the clothing that is made for women is of very poor quality. It's very hard for a woman to go out and actually find a suit that is 100% wool simply because suits, you know, for, for them, they go in and out of style so quickly. They, it's just hard. And for men, we are so fortunate because for us, fashion doesn't really, I mean, fashion does, the, it tries to affect us, but really we're about classic style. And I know I make suits which are going to be in style for 20 to 40 years. I mean, look at Cary Grant. The guy could walk out of a 1950s movie into, I mean, on the streets of New York in 2011, he's going to look perfectly fine. So, when it comes down to it, men's clothing overall is built to a higher quality. And per piece, it may actually be just as expensive or more expensive than women's clothing. And oftentimes, if it's the same price, the man's going to get the much better deal because his shoes perhaps are going to be handmade, hand sewed. If the woman, I mean, she's getting these shoes, they're not you know, she's oftentimes buying a name versus buying quality. Uh, the other thing is going to be the simplicity. So, oftentimes, and I see this uh, being married, I talk to my wife, she'll find something that it looks like it's almost perfect, but there'll be one detail that the designer put on that piece of clothing that just makes it look bad. I mean, it's like, why did she put this lace here? Or why did she go with this type of decorate, you know, this embroidery? It just ruins the whole outfit. And with menswear, overall, we keep it pretty darn simple. And that's great because we allow, in a sense, each individual piece to stand on its own. And yes, you can mix and match to try to make things, you know, a little bit more exciting, bring in some color, but overall, our clothing is simple. Finally, fit. So, if you go into a high-end men's store, you know, they're going to treat you really nice. They're going to measure you up. They're going to make sure the clothing is adjusted. You have to go into a really high-end women's store to get that kind of a treat, kind of treatment. And women, they've kind of, I think many of them have, they either have their own tailor who they take their things to because they trust them. And many of them, they just, they just don't trust the store tailors because they don't understand that woman, her body type and how to get that. So, for guys, we, we've got it good. And, uh, but, you know, this, again, this is for the, the woman that wrote me, she asked me not to, to mention her name. I'll, I'll, I'll do that. But, I, but let me let me throw out a few female style icons who you perhaps can look at and if there's any other women out there watching this. So, you need to go watch uh, the movie. I think it's called Coco and it talks about uh, Coco Chanel. And 
a great movie. I really liked it simply because here's a woman bucking the trend and she's in a time period in which all women are wearing just gaudy, I mean, over the top outfits and she wanted to go towards simplicity and quality. And it's a great movie. I think you'll enjoy it. And to look for a modern, I, I, I think it's a modern female style icon. Look at a woman called Yulia Tymoshenko and she was the former prime minister of Ukraine. So here's a woman and one of Ukraine's, and this is a country of almost 50 million people, one of Europe's or, or Eastern Europe's highest ranking public officials and yet, when you look at this woman, she had style. And there, she wasn't just, I mean, she was oozing professionalism, but she was still oozing sexuality. And this is a woman, I mean, she's, gosh, she's got to be over 50. But I mean, you look at pictures of her and you're like, wow, this, she, I think she was voted easily one of the top five hottest politicians ever. I mean, she, yeah, I don't even want to mention the her, you know, who she's being compared to in the U.S. But let's just say she blows everyone out of the water. She's amazing. She looks better than her twenty-something-year-old daughter, and a lot of it is all about her presentation. And she's very professionally clothed, but the way the clothing fits her and the way the what the styles that she brings in, amazing. Finally, uh, if you want to look at some stores, I would you know you're twenty-three years old, so you're probably maybe going to. The wrong stores. You may be going to stores that are too trendy. I advise checking out Ann Taylor. It's a great store for women that are more professional. And another thing is, uh, or another store I want you to check out, which is brand new, is Zed Zaharoff. And this is my friend George. He just opened this online. They've got very limited pieces, but George does a great job of bringing, bringing designs from around the world and bring them to his website. And he uses a lot of classic lines. It's a lot of professional clothing, but stuff that looks really nice. I would also like to recommend a few books. So this is A Guide to Elegance. You can find it on Amazon. We've got The Color of Style, which again, you can find this one on Amazon. The Pocket Stylist. The 100 by Nina Garcia. Great book. Really like this one. And this one is awesome. The Science of Sexy by Bradley Bayou. And so some of you guys maybe asking, Antonio, why do you have five <laughs> books books about female dress? First of all, what do you think I come up with all these ideas about what to talk, where to talk about? I just look at, you know, the, these women's books and they give me all types of ideas to ask you guys. But no, seriously, a lot of great insight in those books. I highly advise, you know, possibly picking them up for your wife. If you're a guy watching this, I don't know about you guys, but I like my wife to look good. And uh, that's why we have three kids. But... <laughs> Okay, last thing I'm going to hit on is what can you do as a woman to, you know, let, let's say you, you've already been to Ann Taylor, you've checked out Zed Zaharoff, you know, but what can you do with the current clothing in your wardrobe? One, get it tailored. I think American women in general are pretty bad about not taking their clothing to a tailor. I, I mean, American men are worse, but American women, it seems like they, they walk around in their pajamas and they've forgotten that there are tailors and seamstresses out there who can take their clothing and make it just look great for their body shape. Another one is pick up classic pieces. So one of those books I showed you, it's got the Nina Garcia's 100. Look at those. I mean, the trench coat, classic, military, comes from a male. I mean, that what doesn't get more manly than a trench coat? But a woman in a trench coat, especially one made for her, looks great. Uh, accessories. So you can take something that if you didn't accessorize it would look very masculine, but once you throw in a few accessories, it's going to look perfect for you. Uh, and finally, consider having some pieces custom made. I don't make women's wear. It's just something I'm not wanting to get into, but there are many custom tailors out there. If you need a good pencil skirt, you can't find one that fits you right or made from the right material, well, go to a tailor and have that skirt made. I mean, it's, it's a classic piece and it'll go great with your wardrobe. Okay. Well, guys, just to warn I'm not going to get much more into women's uh, clothing at this point, but I did want to answer. It was a good question. And uh, I kind of went with a little bit of a sensational bit of a uh, title there, but uh, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Hopefully you like it. I'll see you guys in the next videos. Bye-bye.